What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Kentucky versus Iowa college football matchup going down Saturday, December 31st, 2022. Before we get to that free pick, gotta let you guys know at PickDogs.com. We're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. We've got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed and also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer. The link in the description of this video below. Also in the description of this video below, click the join button for more information on our YouTube VIP and premium passes. Great way to get yourself some premium content for an awesome price. The VIP and premium passes will ensure that every single day you're getting plays from myself, Mitch, and Rod. It's one of the best values going in sports handicapping today. So make sure it's something that you check out, take advantage of, and keep in your back pocket. But let's get to this one between Kentucky and Iowa, and it's the Music City Bowl. Should be a great matchup between two 7-5 and five teams in this one. Iowa 7-5 and five against the spread this season. Meanwhile, Kentucky 8-4 and four against the number. And it's going to be an interesting game to dissect just because of all the developments that have happened over the course of, obviously, from their final games of the season. Now leading up to this bowl game, you've had players opt out. You've had players deal with injuries. From the most recent um, updates that I've seen, it looks like for Kentucky, you know, we probably won't be seeing any of uh, Will Levis, um, Kavosley Smoke or Chris Rodriguez, three of the more important pieces to this already stagnant Kentucky offense. And Levis, you know, he was, uh, he, he's been shooting up NFL mock draft boards. Some have him going first overall, some have him being the first quarterback taken off of the board. And, you know, it's just going to be, um, it's going to be tough for Kentucky to sort of navigate through that when, like I said, this was already a, a Kentucky offense that hadn't, hadn't done its best work this season. I mean, Kentucky. You know, 107th in total yardage on offense, 109th rushing the football, 105th in terms of scoring offense, 88th in terms of passing yards per game. And that's going up against an Iowa defense that was in the top 10 for much of the season in scoring defense. And a lot of times for for Iowa, defense was what, what, the, what they hung their hat on and was the majority of the reason why they would win a lot of their games. Um, on the other side, though, we talk about Iowa winning games with their defense. That's because they had no offense to speak of this season. The second worst team in the country in terms of total yardage per game. Bottom 10 in passing yards per game, rushing yards per game, scoring offense. They put up just 17.4 points per game this season. But uh, Kentucky, like I said, sort of, sort of un-Kentucky, like really good defensively this season. Uh, 12th in the country in scoring defense. They allowed just 19.1 points per game. Uh, seventh in the country against the pass, 18th in total yardage against. The only area where you could kind of get to them was on the ground, but even then they were just middle of the road. 60th in the country, allowing 146.8 rushing yards per game. But what really stands out to me is if you had told me, you know, up until, if you would just give me blind records, and I had watched some Iowa football and knew that this was an Iowa team that was defense heavy and knew this was a, a, a Kentucky team that, you know, wasn't great offensively. If you had said to me which one of these teams was was eleven and one to the under this season, probably would have said Iowa. But the fact is, it's actually Kentucky that's eleven and one to the under this season, and that plays right into Iowa's hand of playing with their defense. But again, this Iowa offense, what looks to be without their starting quarterback and Spencer Petrus, at least from what I'm seeing, last reported that his arm was in a sling. So who who knows if he's going to make the start here? Even if he does end up going. I he was th this Iowa offense was already terrible with him, and with or without him, it's probably still going to be a bad Iowa offense. Not a sexy game, especially with uh, sorry, I shouldn't say it's not a sexy line with this uh, with this total only at thirty one and a half. But I think this is a seventeen to fourteen or maybe even seventeen to ten kind of game at best. I'm going to take the under thirty one and a half in this one. Look for this to be just a slop fest for a full sixty minutes at Nissan Stadium. And that's going to be my free pick. But if you're looking for best bets for myself or any of our other world-class handicappers, check out PickDogs.com and click on the Premium Picks tab. And remember to use that promo code PICK for 15% off your purchase of $25 or more at PickDogs Premium. And while you're at PickDogs, make sure you check out our free betting tools, some of the best betting tools in the business and tools that you'll want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Let's cash some winners.